Hello, hello, and welcome back to a new episode. So, for this one, we saved the final objective of uh, the Beard Makes the Man and the main story mission, killing Greed Tooth. Um, so we can uh, have some fun. Now, the goal of this episode is to farm... Uh, there you go. Let's just skip through these guys, whatever. The goal of this episode is to get a proper Grok Nozzle for our melee build. And we can actually find one from the Iron Golem, uh, the Gold Golem, if we're really lucky. But we'll probably farm it from... Uh, what is his name again? Claptrap, the wizard. Now, how do we kill this guy? Let's try melee. Might be why Greed is so mean, who knows. No, bring it down! <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, let's see how we can take on the gold golem. Now, his crit spell is actually... Uh, is it where Greed is? is it? I'm not quite sure. Alright, so let's slag him up. We got our roid damage. It will probably... yeah. The recharge rage is too quick on this one. Oh, that does a decent amount of damage. We can easily take one. Oh, but I forgot about this. Well, we're gonna have to kill some minions. Luckily, melee is very, very efficient at that. Wait, what? You know what? Can we get to him? No, we can't. Ah, I screwed up. That was stupid. Not gonna lie. Wanna heal a bit? Now, killing this guy with melee is not hard, but as you can see, we can't even reach him at the moment. Which is a shame. There we go. Let's heal up a little bit. Melee bonus, roid damage. Oh, killing blow soon. Alright, maybe we can finish him up right now. Nope. Okay, I don't want to get another cycle though. Wait, what is that? Oh, did he drop the grub nozzle? Let's see. I think he did. No, 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 that's an SMG. I don't know uh, why I thought that was a pistol. Apparently we also accidentally killed Greed Tooth. But that's okay. Didn't want to save him anyways. Can't. Hey, Banbury Snyder! Wow. You know what? I'll take it. Lovely. All the way back? Oh, man. All right, girl, all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to walk. Give us a teleportation butts. thingy. Did you just say laser butts? So in our first roll of these chests, we got a 20, and the next one was a 3, and then a 5. So that's not too great, but it doesn't matter. We don't need any weapons. Is it Raft? Is it Raft? Let's try Raft. Raft? Nope. Alright, let's try another uh, combination of these letters. It's uh, oh, a... Say it, Mordecai. It we'll say it. I'm it's... Art. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys! Did somebody say fart? No, you could actually <laughs> wait a bit longer to accept that <laughs> new mission. Uh, and uh, Tiny Tina will continue laughing for like... 10 more seconds, hysterically. It's pretty fun. Alright, so... Of course, let's not forget about the quest The Beard Makes the Man. Which is the reason why we are doing this DLC. And just get a save point. There we go. Now we'll spawn in the middle of the mine. Like this. Huh. 
So I'm gonna ha uh, like turn in, like give him his beard. But I'm not gonna turn in the mission yet. Well, set it to save read only, the save mode, the save file, and then we start farming until we find a perfect or good grog nozzle. I might uh, settle for a not so perfect one. Now, unfortunately, we're gonna have to do this run the whole time, and we do not have our passive movement speed bonus yet with the Fable Turtoids. Because we need a sniper com that reduces our shield capacity by over 4,000. We actually saw a sniper com earlier on, a green one. I'm not sure. That might have been good enough. Uh, that would be very painful because I don't know where it is now. Well, doesn't matter now, we're just gonna do it the normal way. We can now turn in the mission. Uh, let's not do that yet. We'll uh, save. We force a game save over here. So dis disable and activate your uh, badass rank. All right. So now we force a save. Um, in the background, I am now looking for my save file, and it's in Willow game save data. In a big ass number. All right, I found the save file. I'll go to properties and mark it as read only and apply. All right, that's all we need to do. And we can immediately start this farm. We should be able to get two mission rewards. Let's see. Oh, no, it doesn't work for this mission. All right, so this one is awful. No evisceration, TD or, gr uh, TD or grip. Now, normally you wouldn't be able to do anything else here. But, seeing as we really didn't save the game. Oh, no, not true Vault Hunter mode. It's still normal mode. We should still uh, have the mission. Yep, there it is. Awesome. Now, as long as we don't remember to put the game back on, uh, like... Uh, not read only mode after we get the proper grog nozzle we should be fine to get into true vault into mode or we could try and farm for a magic missile but it is actually quite hard to consistently do that uh, what is it called the slaughter the magic round of slaughter thingy at this level so we might just come back later on once we're at max level or like higher leveled and one shot all these guys Ms. Moxies nope not the, not a prefix it's not gonna work so we're gonna hear I feel wise as poop right now uh, quite a few more times but hopefully we'll be able to get it in a decent amount of time like I'm not expecting it in the first 10 tries but hopefully it won't take us a hundred because I won't have the patience for that and neither will you probably so why would I need the grog nozzle if we already have the rapier for melee damage I mean I only want it for healing right so why would I need an evisceration and the proper grip well for some enemies using the rapier is gonna be an overkill you don't always need to 200% melee damage especially once you're uh, good with your right shield and stuff so if you need a good amount of healing I mean of course you want the evisceration on it expeditious yeah. of course you want the evisceration in front of it because you um, you still want to have that Melee damage, right? <laughs> if you want to heal with the Grog Nozzle, you have to be able to deal damage. And if you want to do that with melee, you need the Evisceration. That's pretty obvious, right? Now, why would I want a perfect version? Like, why would I want a Molly One Grip on it as well? 
Well, um, the healing of the Grog Nozzle will always be the same. 60% of the damage you deal while you have it equipped. And giving it a Molly One Grip increases the slack chance to 52% or something. It's quite high. And seeing as melee damage is not skilled by your weapon, but by your own level and roid shield and such, you don't actually need a um, grog nozzle or like a melee weapon that is on your level. So that means up until level OP8, we could use this rapier and well, the grog nozzle that we're about to get, even though they're only level 30, 30, excuse me. Flood of grip. Miss Moxies. Nope. And for some reason, some of the missions do actually get two mission rewards with the mod I have. Uh, most notably the Pimpernel, the Fibber, the Lady Fist, the Sandhawk. Most of those DLC weapons. Uniques, I should say. But apparently it doesn't count for every mission reward, which is unfortunate, because the Grog Nozzle has quite a long walk to it. But seeing as we're gonna use this Grog Nozzle probably up to level OP8, um, I'm not actually gonna settle with a imperfect one, because we're gonna have to use it quite a lot. Although, we won't be using melee the whole playthrough. I don't know. We'll see how long it takes. What I'll probably do is I'll... As soon as we get an evisceration grog nozzle, I'll just uh, get it in the save. Like the... What is it called? The Claptrap's Fold stash thing. And then try to farm for a perfect one with a good grip. Now something like a Vlad of Grip would also be decent, because increased fire rate means more bullets to spam, uh, so you can slag quicker as well. But I'd rather have a Molly One Grip, of course. Also for the reload speed, it's just nice. And the magazine size, not to forget. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Hey, it is a Molly One Grip, but it ha doesn't have a prefix. Unfortunate. We definitely, like the grip isn't as important as the prefix. But it would have been nice, you know. Now, so far, we've actually seen quite a lot of Miss Moxie prefixes. And the Miss Moxie's prefix basically means that it doesn't have any bonuses at all. Just like this rapier that we have, this one is uh, Captain Blades. That is the prefix for the Scarlet DLC whenever a weapon does not have any bonuses to it. And I'd say that a prefix is always better than no prefix, I believe. But you can correct me on that. There's probably a few instances where a prefix is actually not beneficial to you. For example, if you have a rocket launcher with... Hmm. With higher fire rates. But then again, it's not super spammy. So that, I don't know. Bandit grip. Nope. And again, no prefix. Alright, so... Hmm. I mean, there is ways to make this faster. For example, you can uh, increase the game speed, but I really do not want to mess with console commands because that is that is just cheating. And normally, what I used to do in characters is like whenever I get a weapon as a drop or as a mission reward. 
sometimes I'm just lazy and use the Gib save editor to make a perfect version of that. So I actually did farm like the weapon or the gun that I was use that I was gonna go for, but I didn't have to do the tedious part of actually farming for a perfect version. Now it is way less rewarding to play the game in that way, so that's why I am going through the pain of this farm right now. Now this is a flaw of grip which isn't as bad, but Miss Moxie, so oh well. Now there's one thing that is pretty annoying. I did say that I would put this first evisceration grog nozzle into the claptrap vault, but we haven't enabled the vault yet on this character. We haven't unlocked it. So that means we have to either do the mission in sanctuary to get it, or we have to go through the true vault into mode for a few seconds. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Although you do have to save quit for that, so that doesn't work. Actually it does, if I press continue instead of load. Uh, yeah, it should work. <laughs> Just rambling right now. Now, I would love to uh, put some music over this uh, gameplay, especially for myself at the moment. But I don't want to get copyright striked. So, you know... That ain't gonna fly. Now what we could do, to make this a bit more fun, is we can try and throw these grenades in front of us. And grenade jump ourselves forward. If I'm um, not screwing up every time. There we go. Oh, that is a bit too far forward. That's a good one. Alright, that, that cost us five grenades, so <laughs> we're gonna have to find a few on the way. Actually, we don't, because uh, we're not saving the game, right? So we'll spawn back with seven grenades. Hey, hey. Ooh, that's another Malibuan grip. No prefix again. So, unfortunately, we like 80% of the weapons we find doesn't don't have a prefix. Now, thank God for the fact that it's always a slag element. Oh, yeah. Oh! Ah, uh, I should have saved the game. Okay, we'll do that next run. Uh, I should have saved the game without a grenade equipped. 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 Ooh, that's a very good one. Okay, yeah, this is quite fun, I like it. Oh. Okay, so you do have to find like the proper momentum. Like throw it forward so you don't have to wait for it. But not too far forward, otherwise you, uh, <laughs> you'll uh, set yourself back. This is fun, I like it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that does make it a bit more bearable. Tor grip, no prefix. Fortunately for pistol farms, you only need to farm for a proper grip. That's the only thing that actually... Well, and the prefix, of course. But luckily we don't have to farm for a specific stock or whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I can sneeze pretty loudly sometimes I'm sorry about that but I don't I don't want to be that guy that that's like oh sorry guys I need to sneeze uh, let me quickly cover up my nose no if I, if I need to sneeze I need to sneeze so then I'll do it properly you know it's quite a big relief to let a let a good sneeze out it's basically like a fart right but more appropriate. 
Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Let's go. Well, so do I, Claptrap. I just, I was just spitting some fart and sneeze wisdom. You don't need a magnificent beard for that. Oh, that was a bad one. So it looks like on these tiles over here, uh, it doesn't work. But over here, it does. So we should save our first grenade until after those first set of tiles. And then we should be good. Uh, oh, it still worked. And there is going to be a few more read-only farms that we need to do, unfortunately. And that's going to be for the Pimpernel in basically every element. So that's going to take a long time. Even though I'm not going to be farming like for only perfect versions of the Pimpernels. Uh, maybe for the Sandhawk. Maybe, but... You know, I might not. And yeah, oh yeah, for the Sher Ami, a sniper rifle from the Iridium Blight area, the Innuendo bot, in the another like uh, round of five slaughter uh, thingy, uh, the Lady Fist probably not. Uh, the Layuda, well, you can only get that as a drop, so we can't f read only from that. Uh, the Love Thumper Shield, probably. Ooh, that is gonna take a while as well. And those are the read only farms that we need to do. Well, yeah. So far, no luck on the prefixes. We haven't actually seen a, an evisceration yet. Now, you could also keep on killing the gold golem, but I believe he only has like 2% drop... Oh! Okay, thank god that didn't kill me. I believe his drop chance for the uh, grog nozzle is only like 2%. Maybe even 1%, I don't know. So, and we cannot instantly kill him so that would take even longer and also you're never guaranteed to get a good version even if we get the grub nozzle it might not be an evisceration one right or the grip might be torque or something that would suck now i have actually uh found a evisceration grub nozzle from the gold golem in one of my playthroughs and that was very lucky, especially because that also was a zero. But at later levels I still uh, went back to this farm for a better grip. And once we reach level OP8... Oh, oh that was stupid. Alright, you know what? Before we do... Oh, I shouldn't have continued. I should have pressed... Uh, this. Alright, now before we continue, let's first unequip this grenade. Then save the game again. Oh, that is the console. Alright, now we have saved the game. Uh, oh, of course we should... I'm, I'm now actually back in my dashboard. I'm gonna disable read only. Now we're getting back to the game. Uh, let's save it again. All right. Now let's put back on the read only mode. Apply. There we go. 
Okay, so now next time we spawn, we should be spawning without a grenade equipped. Equipped, and that means we don't have to unequip it every time we start this run. Now, for some reason, to me, it feels faster if you keep on jumping. It might actually be faster there, this, but it's probably like a one percent speed increase or something. But grenade jumping definitely speeds up the process a bit. That is, if you don't screw it up, because otherwise you just stop sprinting for no reason. And the last two. Oh, that was a good one. Unfortunately, we, we hit the gate. All right, evisceration, come on. Nope. Let's see if we spawn without the grenades equipped. Well, the skyrocket, that is. And yes, we do. So that's a small victory. And like now it doesn't feel good, but once you have this weapon and you have like worked for it to get it it's very rewarding it's satisfying especially once we have completed the whole playthrough and we have like super good gear um, it's just something to be proud of or something all right like you worked hard for it you you had to farm your ass off to get all those good guns and good parts on the guns and that is one of the reasons why this game is so fun another jacob's grip but again no prefix Oh dear. So we have seen Expeditious, which is, uh, I believe, magazine size increase. And we have seen Miss Moxies, of course, which is nothing. Have we seen any other prefixes yet? Because this is starting to get me worried. Let's, uh, let's try and keep track on that. Now for some reason on these tiles it doesn't seem to work either, but it has worked in the past. So maybe I'm just doing the grenade jump wrong sometimes. <clears throat> that's probably it, let's be honest. Nope, that's a bit far forward. Nope, it's perfect. Ah, that one was good as well. Alright, prefix. Nope. Yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, you never know how long this read-only farming is going to take. The worst of it is, you're not progressing anywhere. It's either you get the gun you want, or you don't. And in the meantime, you might waste up to like two hours doing it. Now hopefully it won't take two hours, because that would be... Uh, like, I understand that that could happen on like the Pimpernel, where you have to farm a proper stock, a proper prefix, a proper grip. And the best element. But with this one, like the element is no factor, it's always slag. The prefix is a factor, of course, a big one. And the grip is a factor, but there's no stock on uh, pistols. And as I said, it's always slag element, anyways. So it shouldn't take that long. Binary! Well, we got a prefix. This one has double bullets whenever you pull the trigger, I believe. Yes, I'm actually sure. Oh. Let's not accidentally go to true vault hunter mode, otherwise we would spawn somewhere else. Which is uh, the wind shear waste. Oh, that's... That probably cost me more time than I saved by, by jumping. Ooh, that one was cool. Maybe we can try it on... No. On the railing. Nope, we couldn't. The 
nice thing is, after we get this Grog Nozzle, we'll probably continue with True Vault Hunter mode, because... Uh, hey, Punctilius? Punctilius, the Grog Nozzle. I've, I don't know what that does. Consumes two ammo per shot. Oh, is this the double shot then? Oh yeah, it is. It's just like with the Uncamped Herald. The last version had also like a sort of a laser underneath it that was probably comparable to explicit on torque weapons, so probably uh, accuracy. And Punctilius is the double bullets on Mali 1 pistols, apparently. No, but binary, I mean, binary means twofold, right? I'm confused. Let's see, if we get another binary, if it also consumes two ammo per shot, we might uh, be able to figure something out. Alright, let's try again on these tiles. Oh yeah, it does work. Okay, so I just did it wrong. And I was about to say, I was thinking about doing uh, some more stuff in this DLC. But the only thing I really want from this DLC would be the magic missile grenade. And farming that at this level is just gonna be very painful. I don't think we're strong enough to take on the slaughter rounds effectively. Now one very nice thing that the patch does is it lets you uh, replay the only the fifth round of slaughter missions instead of having to start over at the first one, the first round. Actually, without the patch can you even start the magic slaughter round over? I'm not sure. Well, at least with the patch, you can start again at the fifth round. Um, and of course, we're not doing it for the mission reward. We're doing it for the chance at the magic missile grenade. Or maybe even the ogre. Legendary assault rifle. Uh, we will, however, have to do the uh, fifth round over again for the mission reward whenever we try to get the share a me sniper rifle which is a moxie mali one sniper so we can still heal ourselves without using a grog nozzle because if we want to use critical ascension later on in the sniper build if we at any point equip to a different kind of weapon than a sniper rifle your stacks immediately start decaying like crazy. They just disappear, basically. And stacks are really important when you have a sniper build. So that means you shouldn't be using anything other than snipers. Now, of course, transfusion grenades can heal, but it's not as direct as a moxie weapon. And especially at level OP8, you really want to keep yourself uh, healthy, otherwise you'll get one shot by everything. Or most things. Huh. Need. Need. Huh. Oh, that was a good one. And that one wasn't. Neither was that one. Okay, so apparently on that bridge you need to grenade that grenade to bounce a bit higher than normal. Otherwise it will uh, do nothing. Man. This is gonna be... Uh, one hell of a farm. It already is. Like, how far into the farm are we? Yeah, this episode has been 35 minutes so far. 
And the only thing we've done so far to actually progress is kill Greetooth and give Claptrap his beard. But it's gonna be worth it. As long as we keep telling ourselves that, we uh, <laughs> can justify this farm. Yeah, you just need to bounce it a bit higher, okay. That will do. Hmm. I'm getting better at this. Oh man. Now, if I would have been playing on my own without recording, I would have probably already resorted to using the Gift save editor now. So this is why it's also really fun for me to do a playthrough like this, you know? Everything is uh, documented and I can truly say at the end of all this that I've legitimately farmed a perfect character, well, a close to perfect character. Of course, we aren't able to get everything perfect. Because that would take uh, hundreds of hours. And <laughs> honestly, we're probably already going to spend hundreds of hours. Oh, let's not forget the grenades. Um, and yeah, hundreds of hours to reach specific goals. I mean, as long as you don't do it in too co uh, short of a time span, it's justifiable. But I have in the past played um, old school RuneScape and that is a game, oh man, I mean it's really fun and rewarding because it's also very tedious and grindy at times, but the rewards you get from it are like very, very nice, you know, it's very helpful to help you later on. So the more boring stuff you do early on in that game, the more benefit you'll have during the rest of the hundreds of hours of gameplay. And that makes you uh, play very smart and like map out cool decisions and like routes on your journey. But that also means that sometimes, for example, it would be very beneficial to have a skill uh, in the maxed out level. For example, for this time, this thing I'm talking about crafting, for example. And just to get the max level in in the in a skill, you need 13 million experience and for a skill like crafting you can get uh, about 150,000 experience per hour if you don't want to waste too much money which still wastes a lot of money so that means just to get the level by itself like the max level 99 it would take uh, I'm bad at math about 300 hours? No, 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 that doesn't make sense. Uh, 100 hours of doing 150,000 XP per hour. Now, 100 hours of doing that uh, trading method doesn't sound too bad, right? I mean, if it gets so much benefits later on, why not do it? Well, you also have to either gather the ingredients that you need, which would take uh, probably... Uh, over a thousand hours, or um, you'll have to gather the money to train the skill, and that's what most people do. But also, getting that money would also take lots of hours, especially if you don't have the max level already, so you don't have all the most efficient uh, ways to gather money. So it's always like a balance of fun. Efficiency and speed. And, and yeah, in that game, uh, sometimes you'll just actually have to set out a goal that will take you between 50 and 150 hours. And fortunately for Borderlands, you don't have to spend 50 hours just to get one perfect weapon. I mean, you could. But 
That's not. I don't mind spending one hour on a perfect weapon. Maybe even two hours. Who knows? We might need that for the paper now. But yeah, more than that would become uh, my. I would lower my standards then. And of course, in this game, you can gradually improve. So, for example, the Layuda, right? I'm not. I'm not staying at Gettle until I have four perfect Layudas. That would be insane. I'm just gonna get. I'll start with getting the Layudas in the elements I need, and later on I will keep coming back until I improve those versions. For example, to kill Pyro Pete the Invincible, you'll need a decent shock Layuda. You don't need a perfect one though. So almost any shock Layuda will definitely do for killing Pyro Pete the Invincible. Now, to farm Terramorphous efficiently, you need a really good fire Layuda. And preferably one with a good stock that doesn't uh, increase the uh, recoil too much. So, that's already a bit more specific. Uh, you, you will need a good magazine size, so a matching grip would be amazing. So, there's already two things. And a fire element, of course. So, fire element, preferably matching grip and a decent stock. That's already a bit higher. Uh, recommend, uh, yeah, necess. Well, how can you say that? Requirements, I'd say. Those requirements are a bit higher than for a shock layuda. Well, I I believe we have seen most of the prefixes on the. Grognos so far, but definitely we haven't seen a evisceration yet. So let's do it now. Oh. <clears throat> so if we bounce the grenade a bit higher here. Oh yeah, it also works here. Okay, so. I can actually grenade jump a bit earlier. Nice. Not wasting any time. Oh, well, I am wasting time now. That's unfortunate. It went so well. And kabam. Last one. This last one always seems to do good. Alright, come on, Claptrap. Again, no prefix. Alright, now <laughs> we might just stick with this level 30 Grog Nuzzle and even after we reach level OP8. Although OP8 isn't really a level. Because uh, I'm already dreading this farm. Uh, I just don't want to do this all over again. But, you know, there's quite a lot of hours in between now and OP8. And to take on the peak of Digistruct. Uh, the Digi Peak. We'll probably do the first four levels with melee and the last four with Sniper. I think that would be cool. Yeah. That would be a good plan. So at level 72 I could farm for a perfect uh, love thumper shield. And then once we reach OP8, like we will of course reach up to like about OP4 with that same level 72 uh, love thumper that will do. I think. I hope. Oh, yeah, I should throw this a bit higher. Oh, okay, Th this run is just abysmal. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should do that more often, like, wait until I'm at the top of the stairs in the grenade jump. There we go. 
So the love number at 72, get to OP4, farm some decent Pimpernels or Layudas. And at level OP8 we can actually farm for a perfect height of Terramorphos. Because that is more, that's better for melee. But one thing I don't like is to farm mission rewards. Um, some things you just need at level 72 or OP level 4, otherwise you just can't get to OP8. But that means you will have completed that specific mission and you cannot redo it at OP8 unless you restart the whole playthrough. So that's always like this, this, yeah, trade-off, you know. Do I want to have a reliable source to farm a weapon? Such as the Pimpernel as a mission reward and farm it all over again. But having to restart the story, of course. Or with the patch, do I just uh, try and farm the weapon as a drop? For example, uh, Terry, Terry, Toothless Terry is the one that drops the Pimpernel with the patch enabled. But do I take the chance of him not ever dropping a perfect weapon? Because getting a perfect weapon as a drop is way harder than getting it as a mission reward. I mean, of course, you can get lucky. And you can get very unlucky with mission rewards, as you can see uh, <laughs> in this video. But it's interesting, so... You do want to get some mission rewards re mission rewards at level 72 or like OP4. But you don't want to have everything before you reach OP8. Otherwise you definitely have to restart the missions. But then again, is it so bad to restart the whole playthrough at OP8? Like play the whole game at max level with proper gear as it's meant to be played in its difficulty? I don't know. I might reset anyways, right, at OP8. Might even go for all the missions. Like, 100% completion. I've never done that. Okay, let it bounce high. Jump. Alright. Okay, let's do it again. And throw this one at the top of the stairs. Oh, I'm too far away now. Ah, it worked. Now, was it that more efficient? I don't know. I'm just trying to uh, <laughs> break the monotony of this farm. Yeah, that was a bit uh, too far away. And kabam! Ooh, perfect! Come on, man! Expeditious. Well, at least it is a prefix. Uh, consumes two ammo per shot. Okay, is that always the case then? Am I am I that bad at the game that I don't even know that? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I have already died like six times in normal mode alone. Imagine what true Vault Hunter, uh, ultimate Vault Hunter mode will be like. Yeah, this music is uh, kind of goofy. Makes sense for this area, because the dwarves are sort of, well... Stupid. And it's not meant to be taken very seriously, all this. Oh, miss Moxies. I do really want a Grog Nozzle before we continue with True Vault Hunter mode. And unfortunately, we might even have to start a next episode. Because it doesn't seem like it, at this rate we'll get it by uh, the end of this one. 
you might be surprised. Who knows? Oh, I would be. Oh, yeah, that was a grenade jump, but <laughs> I just wanted to propel forward, not uh, upward. Ooh, that was a sneaky one. So now I am actually already thinking of lowering my standards. Miss Moxies. I mean, again, Jacob's Crib. We've seen lots of Miss Moxies and lots of Jacob's Cribs. Cribs. Not Gribs. But man, oh man. Okay, you know what? I will continue with the... The... The initial plan I had. At least farm one evisceration grog nozzle, uh, get it into the stash, get that in a safe place, and continue with the farm until I'm actually getting uh, too impatient. Because the slack chance already is quite okay. Ooh, there's a chest up there. I, al I almost forgot about that. Uh, there's no real easy way to get to that without uh, rocket jumping. Nope. Alright, so I said I didn't expect it to get it in the first 10 tries, but we might have passed the uh, 30 tries by now. I'm not quite sure. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. We might even be able to skip out on the Love Thumper at level 72 if we just farm a high level uh, Big Thumper from uh, Donkey Mom. That might also suffice. Although the Roy damage on a shield definitely um, is what makes a melee build. It's such a big difference between like an OP8 uh, like a 1 million damage right shield or the height of Terramorphus, which has a 2.1 million right damage. Like, that's double, double damage, like, such a big difference. Now, I actually generally like to use the Love Thumper shield more than the height of Terramorphus, because the recharge delay is so much longer on the Love Thumper. It's easier to maintain. And generally, for road shields, the lower your, uh, the higher your recharge delay, the better. Which, of course, normally would be the opposite. But in melee builds, your shield serves a offensive purpose and not a defensive one. Now, normally, the height of Terramorphus would be almost impossible to get uh, to farm a perfect version of for example you want a grounded version so you do not uh, whenever you strip your own shield you do not set yourself uh, on uh, electricity if you can say that electrocute yourself and that means that you need at least one melee one part to it now if you want a proper right damage you need even more melee one parts so I think three but actually, getting the shield to drop from Terramorphus is only a... It's less than 10%, I believe. Binary. Well, at least we got a prefix this time. But fortunately, in the uh, community patch, whenever a 
Height of Terramorphosis is dropped, you have a 10% chance to actually get a perfect one. So... That uh, is very nice. And the best thing about it... It's not like... It's not like, oh yeah, it's now very easy to farm, because you still have to... Uh, you know... Uh, what am I about to say? I don't, you still have to get like at ah man, I, I just I'm just lost for words right now. You you basically expected to have to drop get the drop ten times, and of course the height of terramorphins terramorphs isn't a guaranteed drop for terra from terramorphs. Damn. So that means. Uh, on average, you have to get the drop 10 times. Oh, not true, Vault Hunter mode. On average, you have to get that shield 10 times before you get the perfect one. And getting it to drop 10 times is already quite a big farm. Seeing as Terramorphus isn't like a character that you can like one-shot, unlike something like Savage Lee or something. Uh, that would become, I mean, it just saves so much time. Like, it makes the impossible possible, basically. Which is what I like about the community batch. It makes the game more reasonable if you want to get better, better weapons. That also means you don't have to reset the game every time you want to get a uh, <laughs> mission reward. Yes, read only farming for something like the Grog Nozzle is still more efficient, but I could choose to farm the Gold Golem if I wanted to. With the community patch, you don't ever have to use read only farming. But read only farming, it's just easier to get specific weapon parts, so. No, I can't wait to get out of this place. Because it's becoming tedious now. Hey! Woo! Alright, Tor Grip. So Tor Grip it hires the base damage, which is not what we need. Uh, yeah, it consumes two ammo per shot. You know what? Oh, I really don't want to take this. <laughs> I really don't. But I am. I am going to take this. And I'm going to put it in the save. So at least we do have a Grognosso with the uh, thing now. And yeah, it's still a 47% snack chance. You know what? Actually, we don't have to put it in the save. We don't need a perfect one. We'll farm a perfect one at OP8. That, let's make that arrangement. I'm, I'm already tired of this. We don't need a perfect one to get to uh, OP8. We'll be fine. That means I'm gonna commit now and open up my save file in the background. And make sure read only is now disabled. That means whenever I save quit right now, let's do it. We should actually be able to continue now. There we go, we have it. All right. <clears throat> let's see if my inventory is all set up. Yeah, it's good enough. Now, should I continue with True of Haunted Mode now, or should we finish off this DLC first? Hmm. Let's continue the DLC. It's gonna be fun. 
Why not? No, the Tora grip is very uh, big and pretty ugly. But visually, <laughs> like we we got the evisceration right, so uh, I don't care how it looks anymore. Whatever, it's gonna work, and it's gonna be great. Now, as you see, it's not really great for dishing out a whole lot of damage. But as you can see, I'm half HP. Bam, full HP. Actually, I was on like less than five percent. So we can play a bit more ballsy right now. Oh, let's not get punched punch off. Uh, sir. Alright. Now we don't have to play as safe anymore, and that means we can uh, use the right damage a bit more now without dying. BAM! Drunk effect! Oh yeah, for one moment I thought I had the bunny equipped still. BAM! Lovely. Right, so we ha we're gonna have to kill a few enemies up in the next area. No right shield. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the handsome dragon is gonna be painful. But we'll uh, figure that out once we reach him. Squire, come. Uh, let's equip a grenade again. And force a few spawns. Bam! Oh, set myself on fire there. Not ideal. Alright, strip my shield, please. Of course, when you want them to, they won't. Well, I'll just kill them then. Oh, that's a fire archer, so... Oh, never mind. I thought the skyrocket would do uh, less damage. Oh, is this gonna... Ah, oh, this is a bad angle. Yep, yep, yep. Well, come on, show yourself! Oh no, uh, bada boom! Ah. Oh. This is why we need quick trawler prefix. Weapon swap speed, that is. Oops, well. Let's shake it off. Uh. Barrel. I should use my deception a bit more. Bam! Okay, let's slag him up. Maybe get be able to strip our shields here. And there we go. Yeah, that worked out great. Okay, that didn't. Uh, I didn't equip the rapier there, though. Badass sorcerer. Oh, this guy could drop the uh, chain lightning, I think. Okay, 
get the backstabs going. Now, he did not drop the chain lightning grenade. Please don't set me on fire. Oh, he did. It's not gonna kill me though. 17. Also, we leveled up, so, um. You know what? Let's get our weapon swap speed. Nice. A quad? Wow. Uh, TDR grip and TDR stock, though. And it's one shot. Yeah, that's awful. Sorry, quad. We don't need you. Actually, we don't want you. Here. Yeah, the difference between 200% melee damage and 50 <clears throat> with the grub nozzle, it's such a big difference, man. Oh, barrel. Wait, that sounded like Salvador. Did you hear that? That was pretty beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Not intended for indoor use, eh? Well, I'd say that was pretty effective. Now, weapon swap speed is gonna help very nicely. Very much, or whatever. As you can see, I can swap quite quickly between uh, my slag weapon, my rapier, uh, and if I'm getting low on HP, I just quickly swap to the grog nozzle, like this, heal up, destroy damage, yep, there we go. Oof, <laughs> that dodge though. Alright, so let's first get this guy going, then we move on to the knight, and let's see if we can one-shot this guy as well. Oh, I should have waited for my road shield to deplete, but he still died anyways. But yes, this weapon always consumes two ammo per shot, I totally forgot about that. Oh, that's 10,000 exactly. Let's uh, kill the barrel before it kills me. Okay, thank you for turning your back to me. Should never do that towards an assassin, you know. Especially one with backstab at level 7. Ooh. Yeah, this is easy. Now watch me die as soon as I say that. I believe the first sorcerers will spawn now. Ah, man. I really wanted to make it work. Many must fall. Okay, let's slag up these guys. Or at least one of them. Oh, lovely. Who needs a legendary right shield when you have this green one? Actually, I wasn't even using the right shield there. It's just the rapier. Oh, no. Wait, what? Deception ran out? I thought I, uh, I hit someone. Guess I didn't. Alright, 
There comes the sorcerer. Oh. This is just a regular one. For some reason, he doesn't take very much melee damage. Backstab. Okay, that does the trick. Oh. No badass sorcerer, apparently. Yeah. The increased magazine size on the Grog Nozzle would be very nice. With a better grip. But we can manage without. Whatever. We're gonna use... Uh... Oh, damn. Okay, how are we gonna kill... Uh, the Comfort Skull might work. Yeah. Like, I, I do want to do as much melee as I can, but it needs to be reasonable, you know? This handsome dragon is just a pain. Oh, I should not forget that after this fight, we should definitely uh, end this episode, because it's already going on for quite a while. Alright, so with flying enemies, if you keep jumping, they are... I'm having trouble to track. As you can see right there. Now you might hear me spamming the spacebar key. Sorry about that. Oh, we slagged them up. Real nice. No, no, no. No, we don't need Roland. I just want to kill this dragon. Yeah, <laughs> alright, this this is pretty cheap for me as well, but oh well. Like this this fight is just annoying. Alright! Hell yeah! I forgot if this guy actually dropped something on the patch. I don't think so. No uniques. Makes sense, right? You can't farm him. Fortunately. <laughs> I don't want to farm him. Is that another? No. Thought I saw a Snyder. Hey, a melee shield. Look at that. Wow, that's double the roid damage. And a lot more shield capacity. And a higher recharge delay. Thank you, handsome dragon. You do drop something. Wow. That is very nice. Sorry for saying you're annoying, dragon. All right, the Lair of Infinite Agony. Pretty agonizing uh, area. But with follow through, we should be able to speed through it. Now, I actually... Oh. Yeah, not really. But... <laughs> we're trapped, son. You can die. You can't. You trapped, son. You trapped, son. I want to do side quests and stuff. Oh. So I actually forgot where the magic dome slaughter thingy is located. I believe it's somewhere in this area. I know the uh, invincible dragons are, but sounds like a prisoner or something. Sounded like Angel. Let's go find her then. All right. So for this area, there's the same glitch going on with the the fast travel and it's really annoying to have to get back to this area oh, okay we unlocked it good because getting back to this area is basically um, you can only reach it from that castle so you'll have to kill all those archers again and wait to all the forced spawns Oh, you know what? Before I forget, I should have ended the episode at the Lair of Infinite Agony. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'll just do it right now. Otherwise, uh, this video gets way too long. Thank you for uh, watching this. Um, sorry about this um, painful farm on the Grog Nozzle. Uh, it was uh, painful, but we got a decent one.
So thank you for watching, and in the next episode we might even take on the handsome sorcerer himself. See you then.